Hi, my name is Ursa Strecher Bencina. I'm from Ljubljana, Slovenia, from Pioneer Skidom. Uh, I did have previous experience uh, with working with youngsters. However, I would say every creative process brings out something different and this was um, no different. I would say especially the part where we combined two arts that are complementary, but joined people who did not have previous experience with it. For example, we had act young actors that did not have previous experience with creative movement and vice versa. So young dancers that did not have previous experience with acting. So it was quite a challenge to introduce the two art forms, to intertwine them uh, and um, create a group that supports each other on stage and out of it. So it was a um, very, very um, fulfilling experience with a lot of, um, how would say, creative flow and also some challenges. Of course, I did learn something new. Like I said, I would say I learned that it is especially important to take your time to create the group first, to establish the trust among all present and to maybe focus more on the body first, uh, because we tend to uh, start from the mind and from the head a lot, where our worries, um, our maybe self-consciousness uh, comes into play, so we are not so sure about ourselves. But if we start from our body and build our body intuition first, I would say that here uh, self-confidence um, is getting bigger and bigger, and also trust um, with each other is um, more present if we work on some uh, body movement and some um, work where we rely on each other physically as well. So I did learn a lot uh, of patience, I think, I also got from this project. Uh, and um, it was a really, really nice project to, to find uh, out how, how much timing is important. So what I mean by that is that everything takes its time. Sometimes it takes a couple of rehearsals to just, you know, swim in some unknown sea and then one or two rehearsals, rehearsals where everything comes together. Uh, so uh, yeah, it was about trusting the timing and um, knowing that everything will fall in its place where, when it will be ready to do so. I would say that the biggest issue, like I said, was to bring two groups of people together and uh, intertwine them. Uh, it was also very, very interesting to see how uh, our trust, which I already mentioned before, into the process were kind of, was kind of fluctu fluctuating. So, but in the end, it was so pleasing to see young people being very, very content and very proud of what they created and um, the premiere of the performance was um, I would say a really crown or cherry on the top uh, because all the frustrations that creative process I think necessarily carries because uh, if you work from your insights if you work with topics that are important to you and of course we have a lot of different people who want to um, how to say insert their material into the Peace. Uh, of course, there will be some frustrations as, is, as it is in life, but it's really, really nice when something comes together, when at the end, uh, people are satisfied with it. What impact did I have on youngsters? It's really hard to say um, what did I personally give. I always hope I give this um, feeling of being relaxed, that um, everything is going to be okay. And um, I also think that I bring uh, this open space, well, hope, actually, I cannot know, but, but I hope I bring this open space that we, all, we can share with each other, not only things we are satisfied with, but also that if we are frustrated, if there is any, um, you know, dark or um, maybe even, you know, sad or anything else, um, that it's not emotionally positive uh, into the process that I, I still welcome it. I think it's important that we are whole everywhere we come and that we feel accepted as we are at that moment. Because, you know, even from day to day basis, we change. And to come on, you know, rehearsals, 
that you know that you can bring yourself as you are and that this will actually affect the process in the best and the most right way possible. I think this is something that I try to give to youngsters and of course a bit of fun, a bit of uh, improv, um, um, the improv principles that rely on uh, mistakes as being really, really important for the process itself. So, because they can bring something new. So, I would say I brought that uh, bit of improv playing into the game and hopefully I impacted the youngsters in a way that they feel uh, they can be themselves and they are great as they are. I am very, very satisfied with the final result. I think now even more when we had this um, second performance on the Theatre Festival of Children's Dreams um, because it was really, really obvious that now they feel much more sure. We actually had a replacement for uh, an actor and it was really, really nice how they kind of, you know, slided into the, the piece. Um, I'm also very satisfied with how other things that we did. So we didn't do only the performance in search of, but we also did um, impro nights and performances where I think their imagination really came to be and was really, really important for them to think on their feet and have really maybe strong communication with the audience, which I think improvisational theater brings. So this was something I was really, really satisfied as well, because Every challenge we gave them, so now, you know, um, work with the young people from the festival or have organized your impro evening. They were, at first they had a lot of fear and they were like, how will we do it? But in the end, it was all about community. It was all about uh, supporting each other. And then they saw that everything can be done if we support each other, if we believe in each other. Of course, we have to challenge each other a bit as well. But in the end, everything was done with big celebration of art and culture being really um, important um, glue that can kind of help um, us to stick together in these times where more and more differences are among us. So I am super, super satisfied and proud that we built everything that we have. And um, I hope that we will work similarly in the future with youngsters who are still continuing um, their work in the dance and theater field.